Our instructions and calculations are using 10 pounds of mix. We are using 10 pounds of mix because 10 pounds fits perfectly in a hopper. Before scaling, we will use a calculation to figure out the desired dough temperature. All shop conditions vary, so this ensures the dough will be the right temperature for proper batter development and hydration. The desired dough temperature, or DDT, will be found on the back of your Dawn mix. Today we are showing Majestic Vanilla Cake Donut Mix, which has a DDT of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. First, take the temperature of the mix. Then, take the temperature of the room. Next, multiply your DDT by three. For cake donuts, it will be 225. Then, subtract your room temperature and your mix temperature. The remaining sum is your water temperature. For this batch, our water temperature will be 91 degrees Fahrenheit. The next step is to properly scale the water and mix using an accurate scale. A balance beam scale or a digital scale can be used. Now we'll place ingredients in the bowl. The order ingredients are added into the bowl is important to ensure proper batter hydration and to make mixing easier. Turn the mixer on to first speed for one minute. On a three speed mixer, turn the machine to second speed. Develop the batter for two minutes. When finished mixing, temp the batter to make sure you've reached DDT. The batter can rest in the bowl or in the hopper, baker's choice. The donut fryer should be attended to before prep starts. First, turn on the hood. Second, turn on the fryer, adding more fat if needed. Set the fryer to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and only fry donuts when that temperature has been achieved. Cake donuts require specific fryer and hopper settings. The fat needs to be two to two and a half inches deep and the bottom of the hopper needs to hover one to one and a half inches over the surface of the fat. Load the hopper with batter. Then place the hopper over the top left corner of the kettle and drop the donuts in a straight line towards the right top corner, being sure to use a smooth motion with a brief pause in between. Continue to the next row, this time working from right to left in a straight line. Continually working the fryer in this manner will keep donuts in the same order for flipping and frying. Fry for one minute, then flip using donut sticks and fry for another minute. Slide a donut screen with a cradle under the donuts and scoop out of the fryer. Donuts will temp at 200 degrees Fahrenheit internally when fried correctly. Let cool for 15 to 20 seconds transfer to a glazing screen, and enrobe in donut glaze immediately. After cake donuts are finished, refill the kettle so the fat is one inch from the bottom of the hopper. Switch out the hopper for a donut hole plunger and load with prepared cake donut batter. Place hopper over the top left corner of the kettle and drop donuts in a circular pattern, working from the outside of the kettle in. Then, using a screen or a submerger if you have one, Place it on top of the frying donut holes to submerge for two minutes. Place on a drain board for 15 to 20 seconds and enrobe in donut glaze immediately. For technical resources, including our donut troubleshooting guide and more information, check with your Dawn sales rep.